All right, this is take two of the video as the first one recorded without audio. So for reference, this is what the Logitech Brio 4K, 4K Pro webcam blah, blah, blah looks like in the Windows 10 camera app. A few months later, I do have a basic LED ring light. You can see the kind of reflection off my hand here. It's right here next to the webcam. And my background is still lit and I am still fairly well lit. I do have auto or manual white balance on, uh, which means every time I open the webcam, it's different. And if I open the camera settings, Without this software open, it goes completely blue, which I have a separate clip of, and I put have probably already linked you. But I am still pretty fairly well lit uh, without overexposing me or screwing up the background too much. And I can kind of turn down that a little bit. But the problem is the Logitech camera settings app that they give you for the Brio doesn't give you anywhere near as many control options as does the actual camera settings little dialogue if you open that up in OBS or Virtual Dub or Wirecast or vMix. Those give you gain control which gives you a lot smoother control over the webcam. You can see here I'm still a little blurry. The Logitech doesn't give you that. They give you brightness, contrast, focus, color intensity, white balance which again doesn't work right half the time and then they give you uh, field of view options. So this is completely wide field of view my pale white face with monitors here. That's part of the problem. And part of the main problem with my initial testing, which is why that was the plain initial testing, is my lights are over here. I have two LifeX bulbs and some soft balls, China balls, over here. I don't really have much lighting right in front of me. So that's what this little LED ring is for. And see, that looks a little too overexposed. So if I just crank it up to like two there, I am still pale, but it looks a little bit better. And then we can adjust white balance a little bit to try to give me some color, but then you can see my background starts to turn red as well. So that looks like a sweet spot. So it still looks good and looks a little bit better than maybe my initial tests may have shown, but that's why I keep doing the evolving video and I haven't done like a review yet. And the frustrations that I have with the settings and the blueness when you first open it and things like that are all still there. They have yet to fix that that I have found. So hopefully this recorded with audio.